What's up scammers? So over these past couple months, or maybe even the year, I've been seeing people think they can get what they want just by doing the bare minimum. Before we do all that though, can we acknowledge how useless the Snapchat discover section is? This was literally a post I got, and you know it's bad when I'm kind of pissed I didn't click on it. But back to the people who think catching a football can earn them a spot on an NFL team. I mean it can, but being black is a big part of it. But probably one of the best examples of this is that guy on TikTok who eats a slice of pizza every day until Elon Musk gives him a Tesla. And what's funny is that Elon has probably seen his videos, but would rather get caught with his shirt off. And that's not even the funniest picture. Look at this one. I can't even explain what's going on other than I'm too poor to understand. But eating a slice of pizza for over 400 days does not equivalent to... If But that doesn't mean you deserve a Tesla. There are obese monsters who eat a whole pizza every day and they're probably getting the Tesla version of heart disease. His total amount spent on pizza, which I'm assuming is like $3 a slice. I don't know, I'm not from New York, so don't be like, hey, yo, way in my comments because I'm just a man. But the amount can't even get him the tow package. Why want a Tesla when you can't get the tow package? But along with the pizza guy, there's this girl who draws Pixar characters outside of Pixar Studios. My dream is to someday work at Pixar. So what better way to get their attention than to chalk draw in front of their gates? And right away I'll say she's nothing like the other guy in the sense that she applied to Pixar, but going viral doesn't mean you're gonna get a spot. Yeah, you can draw really well, but so does everyone else that they have hired. I know you probably weren't gonna be wanted to be the big boss lady, but just because I have a bunch of toys doesn't mean I'm gonna own a toy store. Like imagine if everyone got what they wanted by doing something that literally anyone else can do. Every crackhead would have who what they would have more crack than they ever wanted. And it doesn't even have to be on as big a scale as wanting to get hired by Pixar. I don't even know if I can get some videos, but they're like, you know those people who are like, I'm gonna do this for every day in a row until this guy notices me. And it's like, after like the tenth day they noticed you. They just didn't give a fuck. And some of these people are just taking it way too far. If you think eating a pizza for 400 days to try and get a Tesla was wild, just imagine drinking water for almost a thousand days just for Mr. Beast to notice you. I've been reviewing water every single day for 945 days straight until Mr. Beast notices me. This has to be top, like the, like the who, who I can't even explain it. Like at least eating pizza has its drawbacks like heartburn or just like the unhealthiness of eating a slice of pizza every day. But I don't even get what he's doing or like what is the purpose of this? If you want him to notice you, just go annoy the fuck out of him on Twitter. You know how many kids on TikTok think they can suck their way to the top not realizing that the door to get them to the door that leads them to the top is a hundred miles long and you actually have to have an actual talent? Like here's a tip. If you want a billionaire to notice you, you gotta go all out. Ain't no way Elon Musk is gonna give a shit about you eating a slice of pizza when he doesn't even look like he eats human food himself. Elon probably eats unused Tesla parts and flamethrower gasoline. But like, think outside the box. Instead of drinking water, why don't you take someone hostage and promise to only feed them when you- And hey, maybe you don't want to kidnap anyone. Don't worry, animals are kidnappable too. Just don't do the bare minimum, you feel me? I've done more cheating on a high school test than you've done trying to meet your idol. And then this last person I want to talk about is someone you probably already know. It's Jake Novak, or the guy who wants to be the newest SNL cast member. And here's why I should be a contender. I don't care who you are, but that is not how you get on TV. And if he does, then I'll come back to this video and admit that I'm wrong. But I don't think that's gonna happen. After that video, I think the only people who weren't making fun of him was SNL. This man really thought this joke would make him the replacement for Pete Davidson. After you, after you. <laughs> After you, after you, after you, after you, after you, after you. And then there's other people like this girl who are like, do you know how SNL works? Cause I know some cast members and they've gotten on the show in similar ways. I've literally watched content creators get on here and go like, that's not how SNL works. Tell me, how many cast members do you know? Because um, I know people who've been on it and I can tell you how they got on SNL was really obscure. Yeah, but they're pretty, I bet you they're actually funny. But yeah guys, don't do the bare minimum unless you're a small child or a sick individual. Not like a sick individual, but like a <laughs> individual. And even then you probably still won't get noticed. See you guys next week.